Hi, my name is Chilton Webb, and in this video I'm going to show you two features of Conjure 4.1, the knife and the organizer. To do so, we are going to create a new page, and we're going to open a web page, in this case the Conjure website. I'm not a big fan of it, I'm going to change it for 4.1. So we use the Take Partial Screenshot feature of the Bunny menu, select a section of the website, hop back into Conjure. As you can see, it is there now. Command R will resize a graphic to its maximum size, its normal size rather. The knife is command an option and drag. And so what you do is you basically use the knife to slice up a graphic. It can slice up an existing graphic, it can slice up uh, multiple graphics, it can slice up graphics on top of other things, it can slice up graphics on top of other windows. You can use the knife to basically slice up anything into as many parts as you want. Um, it will ignore the selection area, so if you have something that's currently selected, you can knife right over the top of it and it won't show up in your final cut. And what we're going to do here is basically what you see I'm, I'm doing here, I'm, I'm slicing up this image into a bunch of subsections. All right, so almost done here. We'll take, uh, take this section here and we'll grab this section here. Now, earlier I said we'd make a new page. It's not actually true. This is an existing one. I have a cluster up here in the corner, as you can see. And the reason is because I'm going to take this graphic and I'm going to throw it up in the cluster. Okay, so the original graphic is gone. The knife tool sliced up the images and left them behind. And that's what we have here. Now I'm going to show you the organizer tool and why that's important in relationship to the knife tool. You can now select all of these graphics. And the organizer tool is up here. It's a command option R. And it will create uh, basically a, a list, an internal list of all of the objects that are currently selected and their boundaries. And when you hit Command Shift or Command Option R, it will create a uh, an organizer object that remembers that. Now, if I go change things, for example, grab these guys, these guys over here, these guys, and move them over here. Bunny guy up here in the corner. Put this guy here. Move these over here. Okay. Well, here's a different look for the website. This is just kind of screwing around with the overall layout. Uh, again, I select it. Command Option R creates an organizer. Okay. If you look at the organizer icon, you'll notice that it actually shows uh, a rough representation of where the objects are laid out on the screen when I uh, created it. Now, and again, I can actually uh, I can go in here and rename these anything I want. I could rename this one um, better and I could rename this one best. Okay. And now I could actually take the rest of this stuff, I take everything on the desktop and create a cluster uh, using the standard means. You just click and you hold on something for two seconds it creates a cluster. Uh, as you can see, all the graphics are now clustered down here in the bottom. We have the original cluster up here, or the original graphic up here. Uh, command double click will throw it back into the center. Um, keep all this stuff out of the way for a second, though. And now I'm going to activate these different uh, these different guys. So double click on the first cluster on the first organizer, and double click on the second organizer. And if I wanted to, I could create a third organizer by moving things around again and select them. Command Option R to create a new organizer. There you go. That is the knife and the organizer. Uh, one other thing, of course, you can always select these objects and cluster them as well. So you can keep all of your organizers in one neat little cluster down in the corner and have access to them at any time. There you go. 4.1 is coming out on Monday. I think you're going to love it.